this printer, I'm really not liking it. It's really, really slow. It took 15 minutes to print this piece. Let me just go and prepare to print that piece, which is this piece here. Okay, my KE, when it was working, it would have printed this in maybe less than 30 minutes. In stock, uh, like the the settings from stock from factory. This printer here came with settings in the speed at 300. And if you can see, I set them to 400, a couple of them to 400. And it's still printed. It still took an hour, almost an hour to print this model. And I got curious when I was printing stuff. I got curious. I go, this this printer is taking a bit long to print these things. Like my KE was faster, so I went into the KE um, slicer. This is the KE slicer here, and I brought the model into here. And if I slice this model, just give me a second, I'll slice the model. And here's the printing time that it's giving me. Printing time, 29 minutes and no changes whatsoever. Like I didn't do any settings, anything. It's over here, you can see. Uh, strength speed is at 300 inner wall 300 the speed for the inner wall at 350 I put it at sparse infill at 400 I put it on uh, for the uh, any cubic the sparse infill here is at 300 and the print my KE would print in half the time so I guess like the brain of the any cubic, no matter what you set it at, it looks at the piece and it'll do its own thing. Like this any cubic, this Cobra S1 is slow, and I mean slow. And I'm going to show you the difference. I brought in the um, I brought in the Cura slicer for my Ender Three version two the slow turtle printer and check out how long it will take to print this model on my Ender 3 version 2. Forty six minutes. Less time than the Cobra. Fifteen minutes less 15 minutes faster than the Co the Cobra S1 can print it. That is ridiculous. Honestly, I'm not liking this printer whatsoever. And then also, it gave me um, an error on printing. Uh, the AI gave me an error on printing um, a piece when there was no error, error, like the machine just stopped with an error code saying spaghetti. Uh, and uh, the machine just stopped on its own. I pressed continue and the machine con continue. I'll show you now. And there's nothing wrong with the print. So I'm getting a spaghetti er error detected with the AI and the print seems to be fine. I was away for a bit and it was printing and I just got came back now and found this error. So the print seems to be fine, but I'm getting the error. So I don't know what's going on now. Okay, on uh, my computer, it did give me a choice to resume. 
and sorry right here it gave me a choice to resume and I clicked it before I turned the camera on so let's see what happens if it continues or not yeah it's heating up the um, nozzle is heating up so hopefully it'll continue so the print did actually continue I'll see how it turns out uh, it's almost done it's at 81% so I'll see how it turns out yeah, I'm honestly not liking this this machine. I, I'm going to try my hardest to send this machine back. It's not worth the $950. Like, it prints slower than my freaking uh, Ender ver, uh, 3 version 2. Like, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.